So the first place and the first way that you can find a therapist is through what we call EAP. I'm gonna say that again, EAP. EAP stands for an Employer Assistance Program. And what that is, it basically means through your job, if you have employment, you are able to get connected with a particular network and that network is full of therapists in your local area, surrounding areas, their section by state, all of those things are there. And so your provider, your job, gives you the information to your employer assistance program. It's your responsibility to call, get Give them the information, why you're searching for therapy, all of those things. And they should provide you with either a database or an online link or a list of different providers that is within your network. And so what that means is it's your responsibility to go search through the list that they provided to you that is close by in your area. Make sure that it's a therapist that's a good fit for you, whether that's based on location, whether that's based on the type of issue that you might have, whether whether it's based on what other preferences you might want your particular therapist to have. And then they provide you with that person's information and you contact them or they contact you and then you're connected with a therapist. I'm giving y'all the condensed version, but what an EAP is, is basically like short-term therapy. So I've worked with tons of EAP services over the last decade or so. And what they do is they provide a limited number of counseling sessions to their employees for free. So say for instance, instance, you have an issue and you need to speak with a therapist. And so they, you'll go through the process that I just mentioned, but they will also provide you with a few sessions. So it can be three sessions. It can be five sessions. It can be 10 sessions. I think the most that I have ever seen across any EAPs is 15 sessions. Now the number of sessions that you actually have is based on the plan or the program that your employer and your job pays for. Okay, <laughs> so it's not like you get to choose how many sessions you want or how many sessions you might need. It's truly based on what is already set in place for your employer. So that is one of the ways. An additional secret that I want to share with you guys is that you will eventually run out of those sessions. Three, five, 10 sessions is really not that much when you are consistently going to your therapy sessions. And so what I want to encourage you to do is even though you might find a therapist that accepts your EAP or is a part of that network, you also will want that same therapist to have your particular type of health insurance if you have any. And that way, once your therapy sessions run out, through your EAP, you can continue going to that same exact therapist through your health insurance because they're already connected with your network.